Dude. Oh my god. I'm... That's a pretty good one. Yeah, I know. I gotta put the brakes on it. What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Fray Experience. We're out here fishing some more backwaters out here, doing some frog fishing, and we had a blast. We caught a lot of fish, a lot of numbers, and this guy right here lost all of our big ones. I'm rusty, okay? He lost about a four or five pounder. He missed an eight pounder twice, hooks it on the second attempt, and it loses at the boat, but you know, that fish decided to go buck wild up underneath the boat, and then lost another, I don't know, three plus pounder after that. But we caught numbers, had fun out here on the Delta, and there's not much you could really ask for, to be honest with you, except come out here and just throw frogs all day and have a good time. Granted, we did throw some mixed things up, throw some Texas rigs to catch some more fish, but overall, it's a great, beautiful day. As you guys can see, it was storming for the last two days, so when we finally get a break in the storm, we decided to go fishing. If you guys are looking for some rods, link in the description will be lose. Head, uh, hit that link, head on over there, buy some rods, reel, whatever you tickle, or whatever tickles your fancy. Uh, use code FREY, F-R-E-Y, all caps, uh, at checkout, and get your summer frog season start off with a bang. And if you guys do end up buying a rod or a reel, you're going to need some line. So also down there will be a link to P-Line and get you guys sell some braided line. And then also, link description, social medias, Instagram, Facebook, and Facebook group chat where we just have a good old time posting pictures and having good old conversations. I'll see you guys at the first cast. <laughs> Not very big. Hey, it's still frogfish. I know. Frogfish is a frogfish when you're fun fishing. Cast right there, Casey. That was a good one. It wasn't a big one, but it was a good one. He's he started swimming down with it. He didn't have it. Two for two? Well, kind of. <laughs> that oh boy, Casey, getting getting that clean second chance, getting that back up. I know. All of a sudden, now the fish are chewing. What happened? All of a sudden. I'm going to go and say this is a striper. Its head shakes are so funky. Yeah, it's a striper. It's hammered it though, let me tell you. Absolutely hammered it. Yay, tuxedo bass. You get one yep. on the Sanko. Is it a good one? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a striper on a Sanko. That's funny. All right, this side I like a little bit more. That was a good one.
That was a good one too, just sitting there just walking it. <laughs> of course. Hey, I wonder if that was the fish that I lost, <laughs> that it missed mine. Well, Casey, there went the four or five pounder. There. There. Boing. Literally, just like that, you just throw the base of the trees, just like that. And there's no swimming out, they're not swimming out with it or anything. Just like that, except they don't swim out with it. You just feel, you just feel it just the biggest hit of your life, dude. Just like that, you gotta throw the base of the trees. That base of that conch. Big, but bigger. Finally, <sighs> micro fishing. Bring a fly rod, dude. Dude, I literally just threw over there, and I think that fish came. That's a good one. It is, yeah. Oh, God, he's going to come. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, I know. I got to put the brakes on it. Yeah. Yeah. Backwater canal. I know. Didn't see that fish on the way in. Nope. It's not a giant, but it's a good one. Biggest one in the day that probably made it in the boat. Would have made it to our limit if you would have got those other ones in. <laughs> oh, she's not done either. Six pound test too. <laughs> <laughs> and on a worm, you have no faith in. I know that falls a foot a five every five minutes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Missed it. Don't you start running a trouble hook or something? No. This <laughs> is. That one sharked it too. <laughs> 